I need you to open this. I guess he thinks I'm one of the guys. <laughs> well, I sort of am, but you know, I don't need to know what you're doing. You need to go in the pocket. Don't forget my campgrounds. Just in the zipper? It's for you? Let's see, that's I'm going to tell you what you can do with the camera. I'm going to tell you what you can do with the camera. Tragedy, September 11, 2001. But for us, that morning had a, it had a much greater impact for us. That morning, as everything was on the news about this bombing, there's a knock at the door, and there's two police officers that were not in uniform. Uh, they were in suits, and I didn't know who they were. They were not in a police car, so I didn't answer the door. 30 minutes later, my dad knocked at my door and he was crying and he wasn't driving when he walked out of the vehicle. It was his wife that was behind the driver's seat. So I knew there was something wrong. And instantly I looked at my dad and I started crying and I said, it's Guy, right? And he said, yes. And it, Guy's my brother and uh, he committed suicide and took his life on September 11, 2001. So each time that we'd see the tragedy, the loss, we were grieving with those people, but we had our own grieving to do. And I will treasure this forever because this is a memory that marked and changed my life forever. And it's something that I hold on to. A lot of people don't like to hold on to the anniversary of deaths, but for me it symbolizes the life that he had here with us and shared with us and how blessed we were and I'm blessed to receive this today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And he also, it means more because you probably don't know this, but he collected coins with my dad, my dad, Terry. I didn't. So, and my Patrick also likes to collect coins. But this one I'm holding on to forever, but he loved coins and I know is probably something he put on your heart to give to me because he was a coin collector. And I always seen these but I could never afford it. Thank you. Your mom told me, and I'm very grateful that I thought of you for that. I just said to Anne yesterday, my son Terry's got something to give you. I didn't tell her what it was, and I said, it's something you're going to cherish forever. But why did she choose to give me this one of all the pieces? I don't know. I just said, I don't know. She just wants to give me this. Is he cheesy? Yeah. Yep. He was a coin collector, Patrick. It's after one old key. This We're is awesome. so grateful. We are so blessed that even though that you're not married to my brother, that we always stayed in touch. need to hear that even if you go through these tough, rough, rough times in life, family will always be family, even if they're exes. We loved them when they were in our family, and we still love them. It doesn't mean because there's divorces or separations, it doesn't mean we need to take these people out of our lives. That's all I have to say, and I'm crying, and I can't afford to cry because I'm driving. I don't want to cry. Wow. <laughs> I can't turn it off. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, we're done now. Go back to fences. Okay, so I pause. People uh -huh. So tu sais, tu, tu l'attends à voir ton safe fire and the water oh, donc, quand tu vas te mettre dedans. Elle va stop in the well, je vais au Walmart. Hey, fuck him every, every motherfucker. Il est pas capable de lire ça. Je m'en demande. Mais c'est ce qu'il y a. Il est pas capable de lire ça.